Hello Capricorn, welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So Capricorn, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when they can resonate the most. This is also general, so not every message is going to be for you. Just take what does apply and leave the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into your energy. Spirit, give me some messages for Capricorn. What is the energy okay wow all three of your cars came out at once so number three could be significant you could be seeing three 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 i have money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it all right capricorn then we have heart love deep affection and caring beautiful and then bold money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall okay capricorn so money 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 Money. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. So it looks like things are going to be looking up for you when it comes to your finances and for some of you, the love department. So let's go ahead and tap in and see what messages Spirit has for you. Spirit, tell me about money path here for Capricorn. Why is money path here? For Capricorn, what is the message? Okay. Oh, the Hierophant. All right. I'm just getting test of your commitment. So I feel like Capricorn, you have Taurus highly aspected. But I feel like you were in a season where like your commitment was tested when it came to some type of project here, endeavor, business that you were working on. And I'm just getting like you passed the test. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance here that's about to pour in for you. Give me another energy. And then I'm hearing fully committed. So yeah, you're fully committed here. Give me another energy for Capricorn. What is the message? Oh, wow. The Knight of Pentacles. Give me another energy on this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse here for Capricorn? What is the message? The Queen of Pentacles. So what I'm getting like over time. So I feel like you've been waiting on something for a while now, Capricorn. And it's coming in for a lot of you. This have to do with your finances. The Queen of Pentacles. You're coming into a lot of um, financial security here. For some of you, you could have been waiting on a love offer, a love opportunity. And I feel like this person is coming in to invest. For some of you, with the Knight of Swords behind the Seven of Pentacles, somebody's coming in really fast. So what this is giving me is like the wait is over. You've been waiting for some time now, and the wait is finally over here, Capricorn. Give me another energy on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Next 48 to 72. What is the message? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Oh, we Queen of Wands. What? So you could definitely have fire, highly aspected, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but you are a powerful manifester. Not only are you abundant, and remember Capricorn, abundance isn't just the material aspects of life, but it is spiritual, it is emotional. Um, not only are you abundant, you're also um, able to call in the things that you want. Um, you operate by faith and not by sight. Also very attractive as well. It's like you're well-rounded. Give me an energy for the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Yeah, for some of you, you're definitely very creative here. Somebody can make jewelry, I'm hearing, like beads, bracelets. I'm even hearing rings. Um, Yeah, just accessories. Give me an energy, earrings. Give me another energy for Capricorn. Why is the Hierophant here? The Six of Pentacles. So for some of you, you're manifesting a relationship here. Something that's equal, give and take. A lot of Pentacles here. A lot of money, Capricorn. I'm hearing ball CEO. So for some of you, you could be leveling up in your career. You could be um, applying for a higher position. So congratulations to whoever that message resonates for. Give me another energy on the higher offense. Why is the Hierophant here? I feel like for a lot of you, like you're on your path. Like your purpose is to 
give to other people. To sow into others. Spiritually. Like for some of you, you definitely um, have some spiritual work here to do. I'm actually hearing spiritual worker. Give me an energy for the higher fan. Like this is your calling. I feel like money path. Like you're on the right path here to achieve abundance. To be secure. And a lot of this is tied to your purpose, your destiny. Like you're fully in alignment. Give me another energy on the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here for Capricorn? What is the message? The Hermit. Wow. So somebody is very wise. Virgo energy. You can have Virgo highly aspected. Somebody's also very reclusive. Like somebody... um. If I'm saying that correctly, Capricorn. But somebody just likes to stay to themselves. You spend a lot of time alone, but this helps you. For some of you, you could be um listening to music a lot. I'm just hearing like the ocean. Somebody could be going around the water or you could be listening to ocean sounds. You could just be doing a lot of meditation, a lot of prayer at this time. And then I'm hearing shaman. Give me an energy on the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Capricorn? What is the energy? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? What is the message? Ooh, we the Two of Swords. Why is the Hermit here? Oh, the Seven of Pentacles. So for some of you, there could have been like a situation here, Capricorn, where somebody was unsure about whether or not they wanted to invest in you. Whether or not they wanted to give you an offer. Um, for some of you, this person could have pulled back from you. They could have ghosted you. But somebody was unsure about giving you a commitment. Give me an energy about on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here for Capricorn? What is the energy? Wow. Oh, I have the Five of Wands and the King of Wands. So for some of you, this is your person, your counterpart. But I feel like this person like could have, I'm hearing compete for my love. So this person could have definitely put you in competition with other people, um, which definitely could have skewed their view here of who you were to them on whether or not they should invest. I feel like there was just a lot of outside influence. I'm hearing like third party influence here. But yeah, this person put you in competition i feel like that's why things didn't move forward things didn't really progress give me an energy on the queen of pentacles why is the queen of pentacles here for capricorn what is the message for some of you um even though this is your energy capricorn i feel like this person could have put you in competition with a queen of pentacles that's what this is giving me. This is who this person had you competing with or wanted you to compete with. Give me another energy on the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? What is the message? The Three of Wands. Give me one more on the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person definitely like turned their back on you here and headed in a whole new direction. Give me another energy on the Queen of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. I feel like this person was like listening to um, other people. Like I say, for some of you, this person could have been listening to a Queen of Pentacles here. The Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this was like a third party situation. And this doesn't have to be anyone they were romantically involved with. This could be a family member or friend for some of you. Give me another energy on the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? What is the energy? So with like money path here, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Um... I feel like this person was really focused on the material aspects and they really didn't think you had anything to offer them. It's kind of like this person was like focused on who was more stable, you know, who they were going to be able to build with. And they really did not see that with you. But I did just hear reconciliation. So somebody definitely wants to reconcile. <laughs> yeah, the Knight of Swords came out. So I feel like this person is discovering something new here. Somebody has definitely learned their lesson. 
I feel like they also watch you. Also, with this three of wands, somebody could definitely um, live at a distance. I'm hearing across water. So across the water here, Capricorn. But this person is finally seeing just how abundant you really are. I'm hearing binoculars. Yeah, somebody's like looking a little bit deeper. Yeah, somebody's finally doing their research um, and not listening to other people, not taking other people's advice. Somebody's like, you know, hey, you know what? I got it. I'll go find it out for myself. Somebody has learned a major lesson here, especially about putting you in competition. Give me energy on the five of wands. Watch the five of wands here. What is the message for Capricorn? Why is the five of wands here? Yeah, the ace of swords. So for some of you, this person could have been lying to you here. With this ace of swords being in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's very promiscuous. Knight of wands to the ace of wands. Yeah, somebody leads, you know, with sex. They lust, very lustful nature. So they could have lied to you about who they were actually seeing about dealing with other energies give me another energy on the five of wands why is the five of wands here for capricorn what is the message somebody just felt like whoever they went towards i'm telling you was more abundant than you yeah four of pentacles so i'm seeing this two ways i'm seeing this as this person holding back from you because of who they were dealing with um and then i'm hearing toxic so somebody definitely um, was dealing with somebody who was toxic it was a toxic connection and then I also see this as you pulling back your energy once you realize that you were being lied to that this person had you in competition or was dealing with another energy or energies plural give me an energy for the two of swords why is the two of swords here for Capricorn what is the message yeah oh we the two of wands so the number 22 could be significant. Yeah, somebody just couldn't make up their mind about which path they wanted to choose, which direction they wanted to go in. And like, even if you look down here with the globe in the truck, it's like somebody just felt like whoever they went towards just, you know, was going to be able to give them more. They were going to be able to create more opportunities with this person. So that's why they were unsure about giving to you, giving you a commitment, making you an offer. Give me an energy on hearts. Why is heart here for Capricorn? What is the message? Okay, ooh, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Give me another energy on the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Capricorn? The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so this was this person's opportunity. Like, this was a blessing. I'm hearing like a blessing in disguise here. But somebody chose not to put in the work, not to put in the effort. This was somebody's chance at like real love here. I'm actually hearing Mary J. Blige, real love. I'm searching for a real love. So this is something that this person actually wanted. And it's kind of like when they got it, they didn't want to put in the effort. Give me an energy on the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Capricorn? What is the energy? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The moon. I feel like for some of you, this person, like I said, was putting in work somewhere else. And that was what was hidden. That's why they didn't invest. Um, we have Pisces and Cancerian energy on the moon. Give me another energy for the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. What is the energy? Yeah, the Six of Swords. Tell me more about the moon. Why is the moon here? What is the energy? Yep, three of pentacles. So number three, 33 could be significant. We do have the three of wands. But yeah, they were secretly collaborating with somebody else. And, you know, you were unaware of it at the time. Again, there was a lot of deception, deceit that was taking place. Somebody just wasn't being honest with you that they were already connected to another energy. Tell me more about the six of swords. Why is the six of swords here? What is the message? Yep, the star... I feel like you were guided away from this situation and I'm hearing just in time, Aquarius energy on the star. Yeah, even though it may have been hurtful for a lot of you, it was just time to go. It was time to leave because somebody just wasn't really willing to put in the work because of what they were doing behind the scenes. 
that you are unaware of. But give me another energy on the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Capricorn? What is the message? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Oh, we the Nine of Cups. All right. So emotional fulfillment here for some of you you could definitely could be getting a lot of attention at this time you could be um put on a pedestal give me another energy on the ace of pentacles why's the ace of pentacles here what is the energy oh we the wheel of fortune so capricorn sagittarius leo taurus scorpio aquarius energy heavy on the aquarius um as well as the taurus listen you're about to be blessed. You really are about to be blessed with some emotional fulfillment here. Um, I'm just hearing like God will repay you. Like this is God repaying you for whatever you've been through. For whatever hardship you had to face. Dealing with this situation. Um, of being put in a third party. You know, being made unaware of what was really going on. Like I'm telling you, the tables are turning in your favor. And then I'm hearing rectify, like the situation is being handled. And I'm hearing double for your trouble. Yeah, it's like God is going to bless you double for your trouble. So it's like what you were supposed to get, you're going to get even more because of what you had to go through. It's like you didn't back down, you trusted, you had faith in the situation, you know things were going to work out. Give me another energy on the nine of cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Capricorn? What is the message? Judgment. I'm just feeling like you're recalling your energy back to you. Like this is your season. God has like just judged the situation and things are being made fair. And I'm hearing honorable because you did what was honorable. You did what was right in the situation. Give me energy on the wheel. Why is the wheel here? What is the message? You have the seven of cups. Give me another energy on the wheel. What is the energy? Wow, the ace of cups. So I feel like um, it was time for this person to make a decision. And there was confusion here, Seven of Cups. Like somebody could not tell who was the gift, who was sent to them. I'm telling you, you were the prize. Ace of Cups to the Ace of Cups. Like this was a major blessing. You were somebody's wish fulfillment here. You was offering a lot of love, genuine love to this person. Give me energy on the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? What is the message? And then I'm hearing the one I gave my heart to. Yeah, give me another energy on the Seven of Cups. Justice. So I just feel like somebody um, needed to make a decision to commit to you here. Give me one more on the Seven of Cups. Libra energy on justice. Yeah, but this person like chose to commit to somebody from their past and that's where this new love offer went to. That's the cup they chose. And they left you single. Give me an energy on the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Love deep affection and caring so i feel like the reason why this person went back is because of the emotions they already had like i'm hearing like a soul tied to this person that was very hard for them to break and then i'm hearing Aaliyah back back forth and forth so this was a situation where these people were always on and off and you could have came in like during a period where they were off they weren't really dealing with each other but then like the other energy came back in 
and kind of swayed this person, woo this person. So they just decided to give it another chance. They decided to go to go back because of the history, because the emotions were already there. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they love this person. Give it energy or have very deep emotions for this person. Yeah, then I'm hearing like over time. Yeah, this was established over time here. Give me an energy on the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Capricorn? The King of Cups in the reverse. So this person was like emotionally unavailable here for some of you. With this King of Cups in the reverse, this person could be very emotionally detached as well. This person also has a hard time letting go. So that's another reason why they chose their past. They have a difficulty with change. So once they get used to someone and they open up to this person, it's like they just want to stay there. They have a hard time detaching because they feel like they've already put so much effort in and they don't want to start over trying to get to know somebody new and putting in the work and not even knowing if things are going to work out. I mean, at least with the past person, they felt like they already knew what they were getting. So this person wasn't open to a new experience. They, they were emotionally distant. Give me an energy on Bolt. Why is Bolt here for Capricorn? What is the message? Why is Bolt here? Oh, we so we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse, and I had to look at the bottom of my deck, but it's in the upright. So these, yes, so this was a relationship this person was in. Um, both of these people were unhealed. So for some of you, this was like a trauma bond situation. So they would like talk about childhood experiences, Six of Cups, and that's what they would create this bond off of you know this is giving me like a woe is me type of energy so they'll have like a pity party together and talk about the past and talk about the hurt the pain and both of them sharing like painful experiences with each other and bonding over that you know they lack like emotional discipline like like attract like like this person was emotionally unavailable unavailable they were unhealed so they track they attracted somebody who was unhealed as well but for some of you with this queen of cups i'm just giving like a overly emotional person somebody that likes to cry a lot somebody's also very needy they're always um liking to vent um this is somebody who likes for people to feel sorry for them um this person could have been neglected as a child or like wasn't listened to um didn't really have her needs um met emotionally so she sought love um, from other places, you know, when it came to romantic connections. And a lot of those were not the healthiest relationships because, again, she's unhealed. So how can she really give love when she hasn't really learned how to love herself yet? And that's the same thing with this masculine. But it's just two people in the same vibration energetically that became attached to each other because they have not done their shadow work. They have not done their healing. And that's what it really is. Give me another energy on Bolt. Why is Bolt here for Capricorn? What is the message? Why is Bolt here for Capricorn? What is the energy? Somebody could also have mother issues as well. What do I have? The Tower. So somebody could be dealing with the Scorpio, Scorpio Feminine here. Give me another energy on the Queen of Cups in the reverse. I feel like for some of you, um, the Five of Swords. So somebody's stressing out here. Somebody's worried. Somebody could be having anxiety at this time as well. I feel like for some of you also with this boat and money path, something just also could have been about money, you know, an inheritance, winning or windfall. So for some of you, this was a situation where this person could have wanted you or this other energy for their money. Somebody um, could have learned that this person had some money coming in. So they wanted to stick around so they could spend it. Pretty much this was like, you know, um, a situation where either you or this person, you know, were being used for your finances, which you could give materially. Give me another energy on the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? What is the message? And then I'm here to take a trip. So somebody could um, be planning a trip as well. I'm here to take you on a trip. So Capricorn, somebody could want to take you on a trip here. Give me an energy on the Queen of Cups in the reverse. What is the energy? Next 48 to 72 hours. Strength, Leo energy. 
so i'm just getting like this person don't know how to be strong um like they don't know how to stick up for themselves and not that they can't defend themselves but more like they they don't know how to be independent they're very codependent they don't know how to be independent they don't know how to be strong here um somebody's being strong for them worries them it gives them anxiety this is somebody that i'm hearing make it on my own so this person um doesn't really like to be by themselves this is somebody that you know um will jump into another relationship fairly quickly somebody don't yeah don't they don't like to be alone give me an energy on the tower that's well, the tower here yeah, death and rebirth. So there's about to be a major change here. This is divine intervention with this tower and death, heavy Scorpio energy. Give me another message for um, the tower. The nine of wands. So somebody's going to be putting up their guard here. And I feel like whoever's putting up their guard, the other person isn't expecting it. Tell me more about strength. Why is strength here for Capricorn? What is the message? The lovers yeah so i'm just getting two messages from this gemini energy i'm getting like this queen of cups is determined to have this relationship <laughs> with this masculine somebody wanted like when at all costs they want this connection even if they have to strong arm this masculine to stay with her i mean this person views this masculine as their forever person but again it's not a healthy bond that they have they don't have a healthy attachment so it's kind of like um this is very karmic and it's like this connection is very passion based that's another bond they have you know passion give me another energy on the five of swords why is the five of swords here what is the message the three of swords yeah so this person definitely wanted to defeat you here third party situation like this five of swords like they wanted to really win and they were determined to get their way in the situation and for a lot of you they did they got this masculine you know to be with them and you know they they already had the trauma bond there and they just you know used lust and that was it you know they were all in give me another energy on death and rebirth why is death and rebirth here for capricorn what is the energy next 48 to 72 the ten of pentacles yeah it was about the money. Somebody wanted to change their circumstances and they wanted to use this masculine to do it. Yeah. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. For some of you, this masculine could own property. Somebody could be into real estate here. Um, but yeah, like I said, somebody wanted to secure their future. They wanted this relationship. This was it. This was the end all be all. The passion was there. The money was there. That's what it was about. Give me another energy on the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? What is the message? The Empress. Yeah. And so to hold on to this masculine, this person also got pregnant. Or is trying to for some of you. But yeah, there's definitely a child here. Libra Taurus energy. So yeah, this person wanted to make sure that there was no way this masculine was going to leave her. She's already emotionally, financially codependent. And then, you know, this masculine is very stable. So she wanted to ensure that this masculine did not go anywhere. So she said, not only, you know, will I get this commitment, but I'm going to have a child so that I can ensure that I can hold on to this person forever. Give me an energy on the Nine of Wands. Yeah, so this person was just a blockage here for you and this person. But, you know, people can only do what you allow them to do. Give me another energy on the Nine of Wands. This is a situation, too, where this masculine would always also defend this Queen of Cups in the reverse, like, at all costs. Like, he just felt like this person could do no wrong. Yeah, look at this. The devil, Capricorn energy. This is you.
I feel like for some of you, well, first, this is a toxic connection. This is karmic, a karmic cycle. Like I say, this person is blocking you and this energy from being together or they were a blockage. Um, I'm also seeing this tower to the death card, to the ten of pentacles, the empress, the devil, and the nine of wands. I feel like this is you and your power as well here, Capricorn. You are this empress energy. And you're where the bag resides. You were the opportunity here. Yeah. What does it say? The first card, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. You were the path. <laughs> You were the path to wealth, abundance, generational inheritance. You were that path. But somebody didn't think so. But when they came across you, though, they were supposed to take that leap, you know, go in your direction. But somebody didn't. They just thought it was good where they already were. Give me an energy on the Three of Swords. Lots of three of swords here for Capricorn. And then we'll close out. What is this? Temperance. Sagittarius energy. So I feel like this person is heartbroken for some of you. Um, yeah. Give me another energy on the three of swords. I feel like the skills have been balanced in the situation. You know, I'm hearing the glasses are removed. So yeah, it's like this person can see who is who. Now, there's no doubt. Yeah, the two of pentacles. Yeah, this person was juggling you. Tell me more about temperance. Why is temperance here? What is the message? Yeah, the four of cups. With the four of swords. Yeah, for some of you, you definitely had to mend your heart when it came to the situation. But I feel like you're at peace. Um, give me another energy on temperance. The ace of wands. So for some of you, this person, um, I feel like they've been going back and forth in their head a lot with the five of swords. They're heartbroken by what they see, by this truth that they have become enlightened about yeah somebody's heartbroken here by their own choices i feel like um it's time or this person feels that it's time to come in somebody wants to balance things out with you um for some of you capricorn this person is being led back towards you I mean, it is what it is. They want to make you an offer. They want to move things forward. They want you to accept their offer. Um, give me an energy on the Two of Pentacles. Something is about divine timing here in this situation. Yep, the Magician. They're manifesting you back, Capricorn. <laughs> Virgo, Gemini energy. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Somebody's manifesting you back. They want to have this new beginning with you. They want to be in this cycle with you. Somebody sees now. They're hurt, you know, by what they did to you for hurting you. They're hurt because it's like now they see what this was all along. And they're realizing, yeah, somebody, yeah, like they, for some of you, this person does stay up at night and they cry. They're hurt, you know. Very conflicted. And then I'm hearing on um, the song, I Choose You. I forgot who sings it. I know um, Outcast is in it. Yeah. But this person is like, I choose you. Um, hold on. Let me, let me look at this song. Let me see the words to this song. If I can get to it in time, if it doesn't take too long, let me see, I choose you. International Players Anthem, yes, that is it. Let me see, what does this say? This 
this is just like Andre 3000 part. Let me see what his part says. So I typed a text to a girl I used to see saying that I choose this cutie pie with whom I want to be. And I apologize if this message gets you down that I cc'd every girl that I cc around town. And I hate to see you frown, but I'd rather see her smile. Okay. So this was a situation where this person was like a player here. That's what it was. Like, I choose you. Like, they chose <laughs> every woman they wanted to. Yeah, so this person was a player. I mean, they ran. They had a very good game. Yeah. They knew how to talk women out of their clothes. Like, yeah, so that's what this is. Like, I choose you. Yeah, so they made every woman feel like they chose them, but then they ran into you and <sighs> things changed or they were supposed to. So let's pull you a final message here, Capricorn. Yeah, I choose you. So I feel like this person definitely wants to choose you here. But um, they definitely was in a low vibrational energy. I have wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. So I feel like this was just a learning lesson for, the, for this person. They needed to go through this Capricorn. The number 6, 7, 13 could be significant. But yeah, they just needed to go through this experience. That was the only way, you know, they were going to grow up. Again, I choose you. They were used to dealing with multiple women. Everybody, you know, they had to run game on and say, you know, oh, I care about you just to get what they wanted from them. Somebody was just in a very lustful energy and they had to learn how to tame that. And then at the bottom, I have Peacock. Let it shine. I'm hearing can't stand you. So I feel like whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is, no, she does not like you at all. She cannot stand you. I feel like your confidence intimidates this person. So she definitely had to go to the extremes to make sure that she outshined you. That, you know, she got chosen so that he can choose her. I choose you. Yeah, she wanted to be chosen. That's what this is. Pick me. Choose me. Yeah, somebody needed to shine brighter than you. So that all this person could see was her. That's what she wanted. She wanted to be the only person this uh, masculine saw. So the number 46, the number 10 could be significant. So Capricorn, this is your reading. So just know that this person is manifesting you back in. And I'm hearing this person will contact you soon. Yeah, or they desire to. But yeah, this person is definitely calling you back in. Then I'm hearing calling in your soulmate. So for some of you, if you subscribe to um, that journey, this is your soulmate. Give me something on this devil energy though. This is the only card standing out to me. Why is the devil here for Capricorn? What is the message? the eight of cups yes i feel like you walked away from this person because <laughs> they're toxic yeah or for some of you this is this masculine here walking away from this other energy because they're toxic but i do feel like you view this person as toxic here capricorn that's why you um closed out the cycle the world at the bottom of the deck but this masculine whoever he's dealing with he feel like this person the mother of his child, for some of you, is toxic. He can see just how controlling this person is, how this person is trying to put blockages in his way. Yeah, and he's choosing to distance himself. Yeah, and then I'm hearing change. Yeah, somebody's ready for change here. And quickly, somebody's getting out of Dodge. So Capricorn, this is your reading. Stay true to thyself, real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.